Hello everyone, and welcome back to Scythe 2. Continuing on, we're going into map 13 and 14. Now, you see that mega armor up there? We're gonna be getting that pretty soon. But first we want this armor. And we want these guys to move out a little bit. I'll kill the hit scanners. While I'm over here. And now I've got the rocket launcher. This time neither of the pinkies came down. But hopefully they do now, when I hit this switch. Yes, both of them. Now, you won't be getting a super shotgun in this map, but you will be next map. However, the way you use it is somewhat annoying, I would say. 14 is one of the two maps in Scythe 2 that I don't like as much. So... While that is a high bar, it is also a problem. And there's that armor. Going back up there allows you to get back on that ledge where it's lowered. There's an arch file over there. One that's refusing to die. Thank you for dying. Alright. There's going to be two revenants over here. It is beneficial that their lives be adjusted to a better lifespan of a couple seconds. Now kill that guy quickly so that you don't get caught up with all these guys. Fire a couple rockets but not too many because you'll want to use some of your rockets later. And for the most part, just make everything kill itself. Because they will. They most certainly will. As you can see, You know, you'd expect a bunch of things with a common goal to be more unified, but I guess they do embody, like, everything bad or whatever because they're demons, so maybe not. Unity is a foreign concept to them. This isn't too difficult as long as you don't let your guilt get surrounded. If you get surrounded, then just blast your way out with the BFG. But you really shouldn't. Now that you've got the blue key, you can use it on the blue door. Funny how that works. Somehow I got hit by the Helmite fireball instead of any of the Mancubus projectiles. The 
Looks like that imp was trying to play GFK. Not GFK. Secret Service. The opposite of JFK. But I guess that doesn't matter because they ended up dead anyways. You want to rush these guys quickly so that they don't resurrect much. But once you kill them, that's it for this map. So hit the switch. Now map 14, it starts where map 13 leaves off, inside this little elevator. Here's the super shotgun, finally. Although I'm not putting it to good use with my incessant taking of damage. Come on, get over here. Come into death range. Watch out for those missiles. Yep, watch out for those missiles, I said. I'll take the berserk now. Double kill. Maybe it was worth all that damage I took. Uh, two double kills. Laws of equivalent exchange. Perhaps. Hitting this switch releases, I guess, a dam of some sort, presumably into here, although the ceiling has collapsed, so this place is certainly not a well-maintained mineshaft, but it has working electricity, though. Watch out for these guys, or they'll do a significant amount of damage to you. And you don't want that, do you? You don't want to die. You want to live. It just makes sense. When you walk into this room, a few friends come to join you. Although, they have seen better days. Being in hell, that is. There, we've got... A bit less skin than is normally recommended. Lure this guy over here so that you don't alert chain gunner above. And now use the single shotgun to kill it. Hopefully while taking less damage than that. Run and pick up the plasma gun. and kill the revenants with it. Now you've got some cacodemons to take out. Although, try not to get hit. I guess since I have the chain gun, I'll put it to use. Down here is a revenant. I'll punch it out, save a bit of ammo. I need to go back over this wall for a secret. I 
I'm going to kill the Pain Elemental separately so that I can punch out the other enemy, which is a Revenant. Come on. Die. Stop wasting my health. Well, this gives you a Mega Armor. That will make it easier to live. So now we've got a bunch of enemies again, all over there. The Mancubi are a big problem, so when I get the chance to kill them, it's a chance that I will take. As long as they don't no clip through the wall. When you cross that bridge, you get ambushed by two revenants, so be prepared for that. Lucky for me, they did some infighting. I'm going to lure the Mancubi over here, so that I can get that rocket launcher. It does not seem like they're following my directions, though. Come on, get over here. There we go. That'll make things a lot easier. No, rockets are better than not rockets. Not when they're those kind of rockets, though. Are they both dead? Yes. Please die. Alright, I'm in a good position now. So I'm going to take on probably the hardest fight of the map. When I walk out here, I get this guy. I guess that's not really the hardest fight of the map when you use that pillar, but if things go really wrong, it can be a lot harder. Since I'm down here, I'm just gonna kill everything. Including you. Now this Baron is annoying. It deserves nothing but death. And that's exactly what's going to be served to it. And not on a warm dish either. There's better places to put health than there. When I hit this switch, well, something has went wrong. Clearly.
I must have missed something. Or forgotten something. I'm not sure what it is, though. All of those cages have uh, barrels inside of them, so as soon as you hit them, it kills all the revenants inside. For some reason, this thing is raised. I'm not sure why. But now I can take this. Yeah, I'm not sure why that's raised. <clears throat> but I do know that these revenants are going to die. It looks like you can get the super shotgun here for some reason. Now this invisibility sphere is one you actually want. I think you can see why you want the invisibility sphere. So yeah, I'm not sure why this thing is up. But this is the final enemy of the map. Of course, trying to two-shot on this railroad track is pretty... Uh, pointless. So, I'm just going to take it out the old-fashioned way. With the super shotgun. So yeah, this... When I uh, usually run in here... I'll hit the switch, and then I run, and then I go over this thing. I'm not sure why it's raised, but I'll show you what happens when you do that. Unless it's one-sided, then that would make it quite difficult. Yeah, it appears to be one-sided. So I'll just do this. When you get over there, 
there's the final secret, and it brings you here. I'm guessing that maybe it's because I did that area first, it raised it, but I'm not sure. So that's map 14 and 13. Next time is the end of the industry episode and the start of the secret levels. So you can look forward to that. But these maps, it's interesting because it's both my favorite map in the episode and my least favorite. Map 13 is my favorite map in this episode. And as you can guess, map 14 is my least favorite. So. That's that. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye and have a good day.